Welcome to D-Lab everybody. As you know, I left my daytime job and I've been running D-Lab 100%. I'm trying to keep up with the workload. Problem is, I'm running out of space. I'm still operating in my small shop footprint. The wife got a part-time job and now I've got a whole house that's not being utilized. So it's time to expand. Let me give you a tour of where I'm at now and then I'm going to show you where I want to be. All right, here's the current entrance to D-Lab. It's actually a breezeway connecting the main house to my garage. We go into the shop. You see I got my milling machine over here. I have a workbench. It's a really nice global electronics bench. But it's turned more into horizontal storage because I just don't have any room in here. This shop is approximately 14 by 23 feet. This is the main bench that you see on my YouTubes. This cart here is also supposed to be a mobile work surface and it's also kind of turned into horizontal storage. Got my hardware bins over here. Zing over this way. That is my big parts bin. We call this Alfred. It's got all the vintage parts for repair of fender amps and ham radio equipment. Over there is the most important, the beer fridge. Okay, Now, you're going to love this. Have you guys ever heard of HVAC? You know, like in a building? Well, at D-Lab, we don't have air conditioning. So what I do when things get bad is I hook up what's called HBAC. That'd be hillbilly AC. Put a little cardboard in the doorway going to the garage. Jam an AC unit down there. It actually does a great job. So here's the deal guys. I'm really getting crammed. I do a big shuffle here in the lab. I try to move equipment from this bench over to this bench. And it's really become, becoming a problem. It's more of a tripping hazard. It's just not a good deal. So I plan to leave the main bench here. But the master plan would be to come through going into this family room which measures about 24 by 24 feet but it needs some upgrades so let me show you what my plan is All right, I'll just start here in the middle of the room that is the entrance down to the basement and up to the kitchen this cabinet in the corner used to be full of all kinds of D-Lab toys from my childhood we've cleared that out this cabinet is leaving. There is a little dolly I use when I'm hauling big heavy radios from the shop over to this area so that I can test them at the ham radio station. You see I have a little uh, temporary table set up here with a globe transmitter and some other goodies. I did save some of my toys. They're up here on the upper shelf. This is the big ham radio operating station, but it's also where I test ham radios. For example, I have a couple Valiants here that are a work in progress. This one I actually have operational. This one's got a lot of problems. Little Ranger over there in the corner. And we've got a nice Collins 75A3 here awaiting repair. So here's what happened, guys. Marsha got a job. And this used to be the room where we'd sit, watch TV, pet the dog, etc., etc. But now she's gone. And I'm looking at this big room and I'm like, you know what? It's connected to the breezeway in the other shop. And I do a lot of my heavy duty equipment in here. So it's just natural to assume the best plan of action would be to commandeer this room. And that's what I'm going to do. But there's a few things that need to happen. Obviously the furniture needs to leave. There's a video game over there that my son has laid claim to. TV's gonna go, pictures, everything off the walls, give a fresh paint job. But the main issue is, you see these old fluorescent lights? I actually got those for free back in around 1995. They work okay, but what I really need is good lighting like I have here in the shop. These are Eaton industrial lights. I've got six of them in here. And they really light up the lab nicely. 
So I need to do that in here so I can get proper lighting for working on this equipment. So initially I'm going to keep the carpeted floor and then what I'd like to do obviously is put in a nice laminate floor of some type and I'm already in process of getting a bench for working on the big boat anchors. This little flimsy table just doesn't get it. So I have a heavy duty workbench coming from Global Industrial. I'm also going to have to purchase a lift cart because some of these transmitters are two to three hundred pounds and I cannot afford to mess up my back. I'm not getting any younger here. So now you guys can understand why I set up a Patreon account. I need a little bit of assistance to make all this happen. I want to grow D-Lab. I don't want to give up and go back to corporate America. So you guys wondering what my goal is? You see it. And my wife gave me permission. That's the hardest hurdle right there. <laughs>